All right, how to make a loop. Well, that's not a good loop. Let's go with this loop here. There we go. Now I use the crappy loop. I'll show you that even with a crappy loop, you can make a good loop. See, it's cut there. Okay, with your stylus, make your score the lines. Fold. Guess you could fold the other way. I just found a, a turn that somebody had made. I'll show you in a minute. I don't know. I just like doing this on the inside. Now to make crisp edges, take your stylus. Press down. You do this, especially on the... Uh, let me see how I crinked it there. but Boom! On the... Uh, so now when you unfold it, you got these crisp lines. Now let's see, we got some cuts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. That means you're going to need 30 little pieces of tape. One, because there's 15 cuts on this side. So you're going to use 30 little pieces of tape. No more than a centimeter wide. I cannot emphasize that enough. Too much tape is not good. Not only does it look gross, but it will slow the ball down inappropriately. Okay, so here we go. Now I always overlap the shaded section right there. So I've got some pre-taped right there. Take that, and I just, like this, you can see, boom. Place it on there like that. And it's really important to try and keep it straight like that because it's going over at an angle and if you have it too much of an angle, it'll stick out over the next section and you don't want that. So, stick down. So you got a little stickum right there, but this is what makes this so good, is that by folding it over, boom, now we've grabbed this section here, we've got this section here, and we've got a solid connection. Again, just stick it straight down like that, boom stick on over boom and there we go so then you'll come over to the other side stick fold over stick fold over and you just are going to keep working this around now this is one that somebody had done from a previous year, and you notice they folded in such a way that they have the words on the outside, and that's no problem, that's cool. But here's, see look, see how it's all mushy mushy? Um, they taped it on the outside here, but see how it gives? There's no structural integrity. You can see on the inside there it also moves. And there's all that, that fanning, but Here's a finished one that I've made. But by taping over the top, those little teeny folds, 30 little pieces of tape, you now have a turn that you can put it on this side. But I want to make sure that my ball is coming in this way because that's the side that I have overlapped. And so it'll be always flowing down the steps, so to speak, and it'll be exiting this way. So if anything, if you go like this, then you know that that's the side that where it's going to enter, and then you got your, since we don't want to see it. Because this will be laying down on top of track, and track will be laying on top of this, and I would put it right to the line. That's your overlap line. So red track is laying right to that line. There you go. That's how to make a loop.